Right, everybody? That's a close-up of that spawn. You see that white thing in the centre? That could be... That could be a slug. Right, but I've been looking and looking and looking. I've never seen... Newt spawn before. Ever. Seen newts, but not the spawn. And when I looked on YouTube and that, this looks like a... Uh, Newt spawn. Can you make it out now? See them? Interesting. Interesting. Unless somebody knows fine well what they are, they can tell me. But I had to check. I was convinced frogs uh, lay theirs in the water, and they do. They lay theirs in the chain, that's what I thought. And frog spawns all together, isn't it? Anyway, so just this camera for you. Right, back out for it. just a little afternoon session, just an introduction video. Just hopefully the afternoon, a few hours, a couple of things to show you, uh, or I'd like to show you. I've been as far as scout round there. Uh, that's where we're going to start going afterwards, but further down there. It's a bit, bit more, uh, a bit more depth away from the cars. Just want to get down that water, show you how, how much it's uh, it's dropped. <clears throat> Make it out there, look. That dark patch there. The water level was up there, look. Make it out a bit clearer there, look. See that there, look? It's dropped a fair bit since the rain stopped. No heavy rain. And the uh, snow off the um, top of the Munros and the higher mountains further up has been melting down on it. Yes, Andy. Months at a time, brother. Send me some down if you want. Yeah. Talk the questions and all, really, to answer. One of the reasons why I don't go around these little areas like this gathering up all the natural materials as much as much as I can harvest it. I know it's here, it's like squirreled away, you know what I mean? You know, if I've got no need to do it, I won't do it. Uh, it's up to me what I spend money on, and I buy other people's bits of kits, just because a bit of support and, well, the handmade, like I said, you know, I'm not, you don't want to say, it's just support really. <laughs> work on this it's a relatively new bag setter type thing it's just stuff to show you and I'm on the uh, got my rocket pouches out with me again my jacket a chair gotta have a chair on you it's just toys quick little brew kit so just like an introduction back out just for a quick afternoon session afternoon session uh, in, and I mean literally literally at the end of my street how the street that we live on there's a small uh, well there's bits of wood tree small woods at the area I don't know what you call it a grove maybe is that the right word you know what I mean just plenty of stuff and on the way in, on the way in here, I'll show you further down. The round here is managed by the Scottish Woodlands Trust or something like that. And uh, when they do the felling, a lot of it's just left, you know what I mean? So no end of timber. You know what I mean? But like, like I say, around here, 
I didn't want to go into those woods and, you know what I mean, gather every single last thing. That's why I was bringing wood in. I think it makes sense. But, uh, no shortage of stuff. Kids on holiday up here at the minute, so there may be a bit heavy traffic, but. Now you see, look, since the last time I was here, how much has dropped? The floor slowed right down. I keep looking for uh, little signs of fish in that, you know what I mean? But nothing yet. Looks trouty though, doesn't it? Doesn't it? Especially when uh, this goes all the way down. Like I said, the next time we get round, for the, we'll have a look. But the the, mos uh, the midge will be coming out soon. Oh, the fishes, man. Yeah, but things like this, see the dead grass, I'll be gathering stuff like that up because that just blows away, doesn't it, eventually. So I'll be gathering stuff like that up from the uh, tinder bundles and that. It's uh, just seen bird that'll come, yeah. It's about sustainability, in it, you know what I mean? Conservation, you know. That's why I won't keep coming back to one area and you know, like I say, heavy footprints and all that. It's, there's no need, is there? You've got areas like that to go, but, you know, I mean, look at that, look. You know, if you can't get a, what have we got around here? Just this little stretch here. Literally, yards away from the road, okay? So what we say, 30 yards, 20 yards? Right, say so that, if that. <coughs> Let's have a quick look what we've got, right? Well, we've got a bit of sanitation. We've got clean water. It's drinkable, straight from the, straight from there, boiled, filtered, simple filter, thick cloth filter, boiled. There's nothing in there that'll harm you. Keep yourself nice and clean. Make yourself a half decent shelter. Plenty of timber. Plenty of ways to uh, and kindling and. You know? See, I'm not daft that'll dry out in the summer, that will. Things like that I might take. I might have that away. And, uh, yeah, so plenty of natural shelter, look. So what you got to do in there is just sit out the wind in the rain in there, you know what I mean? So, get down here, look. Looks trouty, doesn't it? You know, like little, what they call them? Brook trout or whatever, but you, know, you get little trouts from them. Troutlets or something to the call them. So. And there's masses and masses of places like this, masses of places. Like I say, I've been coming here because it's um, <coughs> convenient, you know what I mean? It's only quarter of an hour, 20 minutes away from the house. Like I say, walk in, minutes. You know what I mean? Hence bringing... I can bring a bit of toys out and play with them, you know what I mean? And, but you can see where I've been coming, look. You know what I mean? But uh, today I've been along there, and... I'll take you along, but like I said, the major will start coming out soon, so it'll be like... Jungle hammock, mozzie net, and everything, you know what I mean? Skin so soft, smudge, every bit, you know. Bloody. Nets. So they got on you can try and see them now, but they're coming up now, look. See them? I'll take them along the hole, you know, the carbon and rock side. Don't think I've got any smudge with me. Right, there you go, that's just an introduction in there. Uh, a little reason why I'm not in there. I mean, I will do it, but why I don't, um... Time check for you. Why I don't, uh, take everything at first, because I know it's here, and when I, so if I have a do come here, I get stuck. Bang, it's there. But nothing against people doing it, and that's what I say for four, you know what I mean? 
take from nature what you need. Do it respectfully. She look after you. All right, so I'll come back to you in a bit. Uh, get the kettle on and that. And I just had a quick sit down. Get me seat up when I walk down there. Left that stuff there. Just have your jacket on. Nice little spot. Right. She's in a bit.